So you've experienced uh, the joys, if I can call it the joys, yeah. of uh, being in government and yeah. now being in opposition. Has sort of being a parliamentarian sort of worked out the way you imagined it before you entered the, the big house? Um, oh, yes and no. I think that I think I, I had. Um, I was always quite overwhelmed by um, what politicians can achieve and, and the skills required to be a Member of Parliament. Um, I had previously worked for Barry House, a Member of Parliament for the South West region, and I had, um, you know, was well aware of Troy Buswell as the former Member for VAS and the great things that he achieved in that electorate and also what he achieved at a state level. So when Troy first stepped down and when I was looking at the opportunity to run for the seat, um, I certainly was very aware that I had big shoes to fill and I'm still ver working very hard to um, you know, be able to um, develop further as a, a politician. I see myself as as very green still and, and still learning um, a great deal in, in this job. But what, what's been the diff biggest difference do you reckon between what, from shifting from government into opposition? Is it as simple as the level of resourcing that's available to the opposition is, uh, is just a fraction of what is in government or how have you sort of noticed that and how have you handled that, uh, that shift? Yeah, look I, I went, um, I came in in late um, late 2014 so I was a, a backbencher in, in opposition and you know opposition whip as well to having a couple of portfolios in um, sorry I said opposition yeah. <laughs> in 2014 yeah. I, I came in as a backbencher in government and now in, in 2017 um, you know with a couple of portfolios in opposition so I guess uh, the, the transition for me has meant a lot more work but I think there has consistently been a lot more work it's just a very different approach to it um, and you know what I'm seeing at a local level it is um, fighting for um, the representation and, and the investment in in the regions I, I felt that um, this government has been very political in response to the way that government funds have been delivered, particularly for regional WA and particularly when we look at some of the key transport projects such as um, the bus to Margaret River Regional Airport and, um, and you know, the way that certain events have, have been treated and, and prioritised or not. So, look, I've, I find it, it's certainly a real fighting role being in opposition uh, whilst I would prefer that we're in government. Um, I still really love the job and I really love what can be achieved, even in opposition, uh, working with um, the government of the day. And we'll get on to some, some policy matters in a minute, but yeah. first of all, Libby, I mean, you're our first, the bench guest from, um, from regional WA, representing the lower house yeah. and uh, regional WA. What, what does a typical day look like? I mean, how do you juggle looking after your constituents, you know, two and a half hours by the car away yeah. and, uh, and issues up here in Perth? Yeah, um, look, there is, um, it is a bit of a juggling act and I think in regional WA uh, people do expect, I'm not sure, if you haven't been a member for per in Perth or in the city, but um, they do rely a lot on their local members and um, there is a lot of events in, in the region which does take up a bit of time, uh, but also issues in terms of um, connecting to uh, government agencies and um, and also ministerial offices. I think in um, in the regions as well, they'll they'll contact me probably on a range on a range of different matters that uh, perhaps in the city they would get in contact directly with a, a ministerial office. Uh, the the office is always very busy. Uh, you know, this weekend, for example, I had three events and three different speaking roles at, at events as well. So it's a very active and uh, and a really generous community. So very busy, but um, I would imagine also very um, rewarding 
because you've got that really strong connection or that, that ability of being in the region maybe to have that really strong connection with the constituency, with the electorate. Absolutely, and um, it's a, it is a fantastic job. I, I feel very privileged to have it, and uh, the uh, the ability to uh, deliver and, and support a good outcome for the individual is probably the best part of the job. Whether that is someone who I've got a situation at the moment, someone who is um, you know dying of, of cancer and, and does need additional support. Somehow they have slipped through the cracks in terms of um, they've had the support from the palliative team but not from the hospital in the home. Um, being able to liaise with the ministerial office and, and get that support and, and you know the minister's office has very, been very responsive to the fact that you know, this person has come from overseas and, mm. and somehow there has been an issue with the system. I mean that's probably you know the, a key um, you know, that's, that's as, you know, probably more rewarding than anything yeah. else to be able to see support for the vulnerable. Mm. And, um, you know, it's, as I said, it's a real privilege to have a role in that. How many kilometres would you drive a year, do you reckon? Oh, um, gee. And, and I suppose uh, down in Vassy, we're in that sort of halfway house, it's still close enough to drive to Perth and yeah. drive around there too. You're less reliant maybe on flying everywhere. Yeah, oh, look, I last I checked, it was about 100,000 k's in 18 months. Mm. So, yeah, it's uh, yeah, certainly hit the road a lot. You've got a young family as well. How, how do you yeah. juggle all that? Uh, look, it is a bit of a juggling act, but um, my daughters are a little bit older now. One's um, sitting her first ATAR exam this Wednesday. The other one's been on her gap year and, and they will be, both be at uni next year. So uh, I guess it's the benefit of having kids at a younger age that I'm still, you know, not too old going into parliament, but still with that experience of having kids and mm. knowing what it's like to, to juggle a family and, and what teens are thinking about, I think is helpful as well. <laughs>